Hey y'all, what's going on? It's Eddie Roy. Thanks for tapping in to Music and Cigars. And today, I decided to go with your Alec Bradley Magic Toast Cigar. This cigar is about 6 to 52 ring gauge. It has a um, Honduran wrapper. The shade of the wrapper is Maduro. You're going to have a Honduran and Nicaraguan binder as for and as well as a Honduran and Nicaraguan filler. I love the way this cigar is constructed. Uh, as you can tell, if you look at the band, very attractive band. Uh, the build is pretty good, and as you as you can see, the burn is holding up pretty well. I had to relight it because I stopped smoking it. Had to, you know, do some things, but this is a very good cigar, y'all. I recommend getting this cigar because it's not not bad at all uh, as far as flavor profile. If um, you like to uh, have a drink or a latte, this is a perfect cigar because you can either smoke the cigar and pair it with either coffee or a good bourbon, you know. Uh, not a bad cigar at all. You know, the notes that I get when I smoke this cigar is going to be a little bit of chocolate, vanilla, creamy notes to it. Uh, when I, the cold draw before I lit it, I had, of course, hay, a little woodiness, oakiness. But this is a very good cigar, y'all. This is my first time trying this cigar. It was suggested by a gentleman that worked at Vintage Cigar Lounge locally here in Huntsville, Alabama. And uh, I decided to go ahead and go with it. I asked him, hey, do you have a personal favorite or is this something that you suggest uh, for me coming in here, shopping around and getting the cigars that I choose? What would be a good cigar for me to try out? And he recommend this Alec Bradley uh, Magic Toe Cigar. And I'm very satisfied with the cigar. Usually, I'll go for the, uh, uh, I would go for like a, a nice Connecticut cigar because I like the woodiness. You know, I like to be outside, enjoy the fresh air. But this cigar just just fine. It burns well. Very good on a retro hill. I have no complaints about this cigar at all. For those beginners out there who decided to just try getting into cigar smoking, there's a few things that I want to say, uh, uh, talk to you about today before I get into music. Um, another uh, one thing I want to talk about is cigar etiquette. Yes, there's a such thing as cigar etiquette. As you can tell, I'm home, I'm comfortable. But when you go to a cigar lounge, what you want to do is uh, first ask, tell the tobacconist, hey, this is your first time, or uh, you're just not getting into cigars. He'll ask you what your favorite profiles is, what you're looking for. And they're usually going to start you around uh, with something with mild to medium, right? Cool. But what you don't want to do when you go to a cigar lounge, while the tobacconist or the the person that works there and showing you cigars is hold the cigar to your nose. That's a big no-no because there's germs. Uh, people around you are going to stop and freeze because there's germs that people don't want to, you know, with your nose hairs and boogers and just the air breathing on the tobacco, uh, on a, uh, unwrapped uh, cigar with the cellophane. They going to look at you crazy, man. So I suggest... Don't go into a cigar lounge and pick up a cigar and hold it to your nose and try to smell it. You know, that's a big, big no-no. Uh, you're just asking what the flavor profiles is, uh, what they suggest, what you compare it with, and they'll hook you up. But I definitely wouldn't put a, a cigar to my nose. Another thing... Um, 
So you won't look like a newbie when you go to a cigar lounge. You know, some of us are kind of new to it, especially around my age. Hey, I'm 33, and I didn't start going into the cigar lounge until I was about 28, 29. But it's like all the BOTLs, which is Brother of the Leaves, can tell whether or not you're a newbie. And just by the things that you do, the way you light it, the way you uh, hold it. When you hold a cigar, you want to hold the cigar between your pointer finger and your thumb. It's not a cigarette. So you don't hold it like this. I mean, you probably could if you just at home and stuff like that. But you just, you know, you hold the cigar between your pointer finger and your thumb. And that's all you need to do, man. You know what I'm saying? You hold it in between your fingers and you pull on it a couple of times and boom, you good. You know what I'm saying? You won't look as much as a newbie, but it's okay. People aren't judging you. Usually when you go to a cigar lounge, very laid back, uh, very laid back. People are, are going to greet you. When you go to a cigar lounge, uh, they are going to ask you, hey, where you from and stuff like that. Uh, they might watch a game. You might talk about the game, uh, life in general. It's a very cool environment. So when you go to a cigar lounge, just be mindful of other people's personal space. Uh, unless, you know, you, you're chopping up with somebody beside you. That's a good thing as well. You know, just make sure you're there to just chill and relax, man. It's like a man cave. So you just chill. In the man cave, you don't do too much talking, baby. You just chilling. You cooling. And that's all you got to do. For those of you that are just now tuning in to this channel, thank you for viewing this content so far. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. So far, I have 37 subscribers. A couple of videos back, I had 33 subscribers. And hey, I'm very um, um, thankful and, uh, and happy that you all are uh, coming to the platform and subscribing. And growing this channel with me. Um, excuse me. Uh, I can't thank you all enough. I appreciate it. And if you have a friend that, that smokes cigars. Don't hesitate to share the share the, the video. You know he might want to sit here. And um, sit wherever he's at. Or on a, at his job. Or on a porch like I am. Or on the way to work. Just chill. And listen to uh, me talk about these music and cigars. That's what I do. And for those that don't know, that's that's pretty much me, man. I love my cigars and I just chill. I love my cigars, man. It's a good way for me to just sit back and relax. Think about what has happened, what hasn't happened, and what will happen in the future. So I just love my cigars. But, you know, I do other things as well, you know. But my two main hobbies so far at this age, I like to play with my kids, work, and sit back and listen to music and cigars. So it's Thursday, y'all. I hope that you guys are um, and had a great week as we head into Friday. I'm going to talk about, since it's Thursday, I'm going to talk about the throwback, um, throwback music that we I grew up listening to and for those of you who are out there tuning in around my age or older, you might have got in too as well. So today, I had a chance to listen to a little bit of Ludacris. Ludacris chicken and beer, as you can tell from this, from the, the way my, um, Name podcast name is he has a bit of influence because Ludacris Chicken and Beer was the very first album besides uh, back for the first time that I listened to back in the day in the in the early two thousands man back in in the day I was for me I couldn't listen to music like I wanted to I had to sneak into my parents room or if my parents was gone. Me and my brother watched 106 in Park, man, and we would just go crazy. And one of my favorite artists was Ludacris. I just love the way he 
his cadence was, the way he delivered his his music, you know. At the time, I thought he was, he, and at the time, and still now, I think he is one of the greatest artists that ever was to do it because his cadence was different. You could tell he was from the South, and he had a lot to say, like Andre 3000 said on the uh, Music Awards. But, yeah, shout out to Ludacris because, you know, uh, the, the list goes on from a Red Light District, um, uh, Therapy, Theater of the Mind, uh, Release Therapy. I can go on and on, man. Ludacris, I, hey, thank you so much for, for blessing us with that music, man, because we love that music. I don't know where you are now, but he needs to come out or you need to come out with more music, man. If you can, drop some more stuff. We know you got some more stuff in that boat, man. So shout out to Ludacris. I remember the beefs back then that he had, especially with T.I. And uh, it was good fun, man. It was fun. It didn't, it didn't go too far. Nobody died. I don't think nobody died, but shit. You know, Little Chris and T.I., man, they had a good battle. I remember those songs coming out as if there was yesterday or as if they just dropped. And uh, it was good for the culture, man. I really appreciate the, the music that was uh, being uh, made back in the early 2000s, as is well now. Uh, another artist or duo that I wanted to talk about was um, A Ball and MJG. A Ball and MJG. They got a song that I really like out there. Uh, it's called uh, Space Age Pimping and Show Nub. Man, when I first heard them songs, I knew, I knew they was on to something. You know what I'm saying? I I can't go as back as the early days, but I remember being on the Arsenal and somebody playing uh, uh, Forever with uh, featuring Lloyd. Man. Yo, that song was that that was hard, man. You know, uh, the fat black Mac, the fat black Mac, and eight uh, MJG, uh, man, what a perfect duo. And if you still listen to music, old school music, and if it's Thursday and you catch this, man, I suggest you listen to the old music sometime in the near future. You know, definitely check out those those songs. And my last artist I want to say that I listen to today would be Charlie Boy. For those that don't know, if you ain't from if you don't from Texas, if you ain't from Texas or somewhere down south, you might not know Charlie Boy. It's without the R, Charlie Boy. And Charlie Boy, uh, he sung that song, uh, On My Mama, On My Hood, I'm So Fly, I Look Good. He had some songs on an on album called Versatile Child. And uh, man, 33rd Records, man, I don't know where they at, but they need to come on with some more music, man. And uh, I really appreciate the fact that Charlie Boy came out with uh the mixtapes back in the day <clears throat> back in the day i remember uh going to school and riding the bus and having a little cd player and i would put the disc in the burn disc in and i'd just be jamming on the way to school you know before school started in the cafeteria and you know you you know you prep before school and after school on the way back i'd just be listening to the charlie boy so shout out to charlie boy Bring back a lot of good memories when I listen when I heard your song today, and uh, we're looking forward to, to some new music from you. Well, folks, that's all that I had today, y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in and, and enjoying the nice cigar with me and chopping it up. I will be having a guest come on soon. His name is Dante. Going to be the very first guest that I have on the show. Uh, 
Y'all stay tuned, man. And if you haven't already, follow me on all platforms at Music and Cigars at Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, uh, and YouTube, of course, to this channel. And uh, if you'd like to be on the show, if you know a veteran, I would love to have veterans on, artists, uh, music, uh, cigar connoisseurs. I love to have y'all on to chop, chop it up about music and cigars, y'all. It's been a pleasure. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I'll tune in, and I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.